Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica, and as you can see by the title of today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with y'all some different low carb meal ideas. My husband and I have been low carb for about two months and we've had a ton of success with it. My skin just is very glowy and it's not nearly as dry. I have like severe eczema. If you have been around my channel for a while, you probably have seen all of that chaos with my skin. And my husband has lost 25 pounds in less than two months, which is very impressive. I know low carb and keto are very similar. The way I just think of it is low carb is a little bit less strict. Um, like an example, I'll let myself eat butternut squash because even though it has carbs in it, I don't know, I'm lenient. I mean, it's a vegetable, like, and it's good for my skin. So I don't know, I'm flexible about that kind of stuff. Throughout the video, I will be sharing a bunch of different meal ideas, but if you would like for me to elaborate on recipes, please let me know. While I would love to take credit for all of the food here you are about to see, I will say my husband is just the best. He is like the best cook I know on planet Earth. He is so amazing, so if you would like for him to go in depth with it, please let me know and I can provide all of the information. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and if you want to stick around for more, hit the subscribe button down below. Let's just dive in. First up, first meal of the day is this keto stir fry. It has a bunch of veggies and chicken. Um, my husband just kind of threw this together, but you can get pre-mixed bowls um, at the grocery store a lot of times. They're usually by the salad, like the pre-made salad bags, but this is about to be so good. And I always add coconut aminos as well, which is my favorite. It's like a, a soy sauce alternative. I like it a lot better than soy sauce. You can get it at like Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. Yum. So for tonight's dinner, oops, I just got some avocado on myself. These delicious tacos my husband made with bison meat, which is all, I think all of it's grass-fed, I guess, but this is for sure grass-fed, um, which is what we prefer when we pick out our meat. Some cheese, that is cauliflower rice with some avocado, and the shell, if you wanted some more intel on the taco shell, these are the ingredients, and here's the facts. So, obviously they're not amazing, but they are really great, and they're not made of corn, which is Important for me because I cannot have corn. And oh my God, this smells amazing. Love it. So for dinner tonight, we just finished a workout um, and I am exhausted. Tim made this delicious spaghetti. We've never tried these noodles. They have like no carbs and all that. A lot of people speak very highly of these, so I'll let you know if they taste good. But we normally like to use these heart of palm canned noodles they're so good they're the best ones i think if you're looking for like no car low carb anyway um and then this is bison again we really like to prefer to eat bison um you know it all it's all i can't talk it's all grass-fed and everything like that so it is much healthier than other alternative options so i'll let y'all know how these noodles go sorry if y'all can hear that vent in the background i cannot get it to turn off on the menu this morning, oh my gosh, look at how delicious that looks. A little sriracha, cheese, egg, sausage, and this is one of those cauliflower breads. If you saw my grocery haul, I showed them to you. We get them at Whole Foods, and I think one piece is like two carbs, four carbs, something like that. Oh my lord, that looks so delicious. So on the menu today is, Tim, what is this? It's a <laughs> pork loin cutlet. Pork loin cutlet. With a Parmesan and garlic green beans. It looks amazing. Pretty simple, healthy meal. Don't overthink it. Don't get too creative on every single meal. Pretty simple. For dinner tonight, I ordered in some Mendocino Farms. This looks so good. It is their modern Caesar salad with superfood crunchies. I think there's avocado under there somewhere. Pretty basic salad, but man, those superfood crunchies just make a world of difference. And with my salad, I got a side of salad. This is called the healthiest salad ever, and it looks super weird, but I've tried it before and it is so delicious. Um, yeah, highly recommend it if you have a Mendocino Farms near you. Okay, what is it? <laughs> so on the base layer, you have butternut squash with 
um, roasted Brussels sprouts um, and a basil aioli. Then you have a pan seared chicken thigh with a sun dried tomato um, sauce and mozzarella and parmesan. And then I put that in the oven to melt it down and then put it all together. Thank you. You're the best cook ever. You're welcome. Yes. For dessert today, I have talked about this a bunch of times. This is a coconut, it's like a coconut whipped cream. I'm not a huge fan of this brand's ice cream products, but this whipped cream, it is so good. That looks just like ice cream. And the best part is you gotta look, oh, okay, if I can, oh no, there we go. The best part is right here. Look at those sugars and carbs. That is amazing. For a dessert, you're kidding. It has like no weird flavoring. I know a lot of like keto and low carb stuff has like weird, um, like an aftertaste because it has weird sugar stuff in it. This does not. And it's not too coconutty because I'm not like a big coconut person. It just tastes like ice cream. Wow, this looks so beautiful. What is it? That is roasted chicken breast with a sun-dried tomato and caper sauce with fresh broccolini and a garlic parmesan crust. Holy cow, that looks so good. It smells so good too. Oh my gosh. I'm a lucky wifey, oh my gosh. Wow, this looks amazing. What is it? <laughs> uh, it's a, a kale salad with a, a steak uh, with a mole sauce uh, and then a fried egg kind of to give it a little bit more uh, kind of velvetiness um, with cottage cheese um, and then the kale and the, and the vegetables are cooked down in uh, like a lemon, a lemon uh, oil, lemon water kind of thing uh, just to kind of give them like a little bit of pickling without being pickled. That looks amazing. Lovely. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, that is all I have for y'all today. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.